Hi, I'm Jeffrey Butts, Doctor of Dental Surgery, and today let's review what I do on a weekly basis for my healthcare routine. So, in my weekly self-care routine, I basically try to cover the bases, basically. All right. So. One of the things that I do is intermittent fasting. Now, the reason why I do this is because I'm trying to get my ketones built up a little bit. There's also the ketone diet, but I don't do the ketone diet, not strictly at least, but I try to intermittent fast. So for the most part, I'm off for like 16 hours and then I eat uh, in an eight hour window. And even now, now and again, I'll even switch up the routine and eat a little bit earlier just because I'm going to switch up the routine. Um, I think that intermittent fasting does wonders, actually. I think when I go to work, I am in a fasted state. I am crispy. I know what to do. I'm listening to everything that everyone says to me and I'm able to give them uh, an intellectual answer or at least a, a reasonable response when I'm working for people in the morning okay so um, that and then when it comes to food time well then I basically eat my blood type for the most part I'm an old blood type so there's certain things that I don't eat like gluten dairy and when I say there's certain things that I don't eat maybe maybe that's not exactly true because it's very hard to avoid gluten and I love French vanilla ice cream fryers on natural. Love it, love it. Uh, if we could turn that to a clip into a commercial, that'd be great. But um, I also mix my fryers all natural vanilla ice cream. Oh, I'm gonna give you a secret with chocolate chip cookie dough. That's right, raw chocolate chip, chip cookie dough. We're gonna just finish this up. We're just gonna talk about this because I'm gonna get some maybe a little bit later on. But okay, so basically you take a dollop of the cookie dough, you put it in a in a, uh, a bowl, okay? I use the microwave at this time for about nine seconds, just make it a little bit softer, and then I throw the fries all natural French vanilla ice cream on top. You can control the chocolate intake with your spoon, all right? And then the game is to make sure they have a chocolate bite with the ice cream bite every time, all the way to the end. All right, we just talked about food. So I, tr for the most part, for the most part, I eat what my blood type is. And I am still actually on a journey. I am still learning. I am still processing this whole life thing because I'm learning things that I did not know before. And I think if I knew it before, I would have done this before. And then we still have to see what it would be. So in my routine, my weekly or daily routine, sleep is one of the things that I have to make sure that I'm getting a super high quality sleep. So I have pillows in between my legs, uh, my, my head has a very nice firm pillow by my neck, and I'm getting some sleep, all right? Um, I try to sleep between six and eight hours, I can probably get like six and a half, but I feel like six and a half is really my sleep number for some reason. And my sleep also helps me basically focus because without sleep, you can't do things. You're not, you're not as sharp as you could or should be. So definitely, before every day of work, I have definitely gotten a great amount of sleep. Another thing that I do as my routine is exercise. Kickboxing is really, really my fun, fun time. I love kicking the bag, I love sparring, I love doing all that stuff. But at the time of this recording, I have what's called a subluxation. All right, it's a subluxation. You might know it, and I knew it before I knew about the subluxation, as a pinched nerve. I got a pinched nerve. This pinched nerve had, well, I didn't know exactly what it was at first. All I knew was that it hurt really, really badly. Movement was hard, all that stuff. Long story short, about for about 
almost two months now, I have not gone to kickboxing, but I have been doing some exercise. The exercise that I've been doing is, and this is a little weirdo, little weirdo-ish move because it's weird to do this in public. Everyone's like, hey, okay, but all right, I'm gonna say it. I walk backwards for 15 minutes, four times a week. All right, I said it. And it's supposed to be really good for your knees. It's low impact exercise. I do it early in the morning. I get the sun in my eyes and that's basically it. So I look forward to kickboxing again, but for right now, walking backwards, doing a couple pull-ups, a couple push-ups. That's it. That's really all that I'm doing right now. But I am moving my body and uh, doing the job, I'm active. I have nine chairs to tend to at the office. I have multiple assistants, four assistants, three hygienists, and four people up front to make sure that we're managing the patients that are coming in. So I have a lot of help for nine chairs. It's not like I'm just doing nine chairs all by myself. I have an amazing team, but me getting up and getting down and all that, oh, getting up and getting down, you know how you do it, you know how you do it. But me getting up and getting down and working for the public, that helps, I think, keep me active. So my activity is, is good. Now, let's talk about another thing, and this is just a weekly thing that I'm doing as my routine, okay? I do cryotherapy. Cryotherapy is really great for mono, mitochondrial health. Mitochondrial health, that's what it is. And I'm gonna do a whole video on the mitochondria. Let's not get into it right now, but let's just say for now, it is a organelle or an ancient bacteria that's in every cell in our body that helps us live. It gives us the energy that we need in order to do the functions of life. When I do cryotherapy, it freaks my mitochondria out. And they're like, what is he doing? And then one mitochondria says to the other mitochondria, I told you that he'd do it again. And the other mitochondria will say, you're right. So what they do is they kill off the bad, weaker mitochondria, and they make room for the more stronger mitochondria to grow. They say that cold therapy or cold exposure in a weekly basis, you should do it about 11 minutes a week. Super cold exposure. If you're doing that, and I, I pretty much do. I go to the cryotherapy booth uh, it's a chamber. It only lasts for three minutes. So if I do it four times a week, I've done my over 11 minutes of cold exposure. My mitochondria is like, this guy's crazy. We have to make sure that we keep him alive. So they keep building themselves up for me. That's, that's the cold exposure. I also do saunas. I heard that saunas are really good for your cardiovascular health. At one point, Rhonda Patrick, said you do sauna four times a week about 170 degrees fahrenheit for 20 to 30 minutes that is excellent heart health and it helps reduce the chance of any heart attack or cardiovascular problems that's that's a ron patrick thing that's that's what she said and i've been doing it because it seems like it makes sense it does other things with this thing called heat shock protein. Of course, I'm sweating, and I'd like to think that I sweat the toxins out, but there's some saying that you're not getting any toxins out. That's what they say. There's so much what they say out there, internet, out in the world. There's so much what they say. I just say, what do I feel? How do I feel? I feel pretty good after the sauna. The last thing that I do, the last thing that I think about is Mindfulness behavior. Mindfulness behavior is where I try to make sure that I'm taking time to connect my mind and my body. So I do some bodily things like, it's called the physiologic side. I do those things to make sure that my body says, oh, my body, which is the avatar, the animal that is holding the spirit, that's what I say. I do that to get myself into state to just peace out, have a meditative moment. My meditative moment is me saying a word 
in my head over and over again, knowing that other things are gonna come into my head and other things are going, to, I'm gonna think about other things, but mm -mm, mm -mm, I just say, oh yeah, and yeah, what did he say about that? And what did he think? But then I say, oh, oh, no, 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 my word. And I bring it back to the word. I do it for about 20 minutes, twice a day. It's what I do. Now, Andrew Huberman, one more time, one more time with Andrew Huberman. I recently learned today, he did, a, he did a video, a podcast on focus. And he said that meditation in the evening or four hours before you go to sleep can disrupt your sleep. What? I did not know that. That's okay. No problem. I am a, let's try it. So I'm gonna make sure that when I meditate for the second time, that I am not going to bed for at least four hours after my meditation. I'm just gonna try it. I'll report back to you. I'll report the results back to you. Now, my weekly self-care routine is only to be the best servant possible for the people whom I serve. That's what I do. At 52 years old, now I'm really thinking about this stuff that I wasn't thinking about when I was 30, 40. And I didn't say 20s because I was invincible when I was 20, for sure. I could bounce against any wall. I could fall, stage dive, do the mosh pit. Oh yeah, I was a rock and roll kid. I could do all that stuff and no problem, no problem. Not quite the same nowadays, not quite the same. So. I do this self-care routine. I invite you to do a self-care routine to do what? Have a better life, have better relationships, have better time with your friends and family. Oh, and avoid any possible chronic health conditions that can arise from not paying attention to, oh, and then I went right back to it. If you're not paying attention to, you know what I'm gonna say, but I'm gonna say it. Food, sleep, exercise, detoxification, and mindfulness behavior. If you're not paying attention to that, you might find yourself down the road in a chronic situation where you're gonna need medicine from a medical doctor or surgery. What? Now, quick story. I am seeing also for my self-care because of the subluxation, I'm seeing a chiropractor. Chiropractors uh, at one point were not on my list of things to do, but they are so on my list of things to do right now because this subluxation thing, it has got to go. It's been about two months, almost two months now. I am seeing what I consider to be an amazing chiropractor right now. And she says that we gotta do this thing for 90 days, three days a week. Okay, all right. 90 days, three days a week for my health to get this thing off of me? I say yes, so that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna again report the results to you because I have no idea. I think I feel better, but every now and again, the subluxation, the pinched nerve, which, which is what it is, it does, does say, hey, roll over in the middle of the night. It says roll over. I'm like, what? Who said that? And it was my shoulder. Sometimes my my two fingers right here, they get numb, or these two fingers get numb, or the whole hand gets numb. Running down my arm, it's like little, little tiny pricklies and stuff like that. I'm working on this, guys. I'm just sharing it with you because this is the life happens thing. This is the chronic condition that one can have for whatever you're doing. It could be from my, my satchel could be from kickboxing, could be from being punched in the face a couple of times. It could be from multiple things, years and years of multiple things. Your body tries to make up for the pain, for the loss, for the, the new bump that's around a bone or a muscle, and it just works around it. But in the body trying to work around it, it can cause some problems, some chronic conditions. It can cause spurs on your spine. Next thing you know, you gotta have surgery because you gotta get the spurs off your spine because you have a severe subluxation. Nobody wants that. Uh, I got that, I got that. 
but food, sleep, exercise, detoxification, and mindfulness behavior is what I pay attention to on a daily basis and on a weekly basis to make sure that I'm maintaining the highest level of self-care for myself that I know. If anyone knows anything else I can do, anything better, I'm listening. I am wide open. And let's live a really long time. Thank you so much for watching.